you're watching the news from behind television. A very good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed ongoing efforts to develop governmental services and reinforcing ministers and officials' communication with the people to ensure providing them with the services they need. Their Royal Highness has affirmed the government's keenness to implement the directives of His Majesty the King for intensifying ministers' visits to cities and villages. They also stress the outcomes of such visits and direct contact with the people enhances the scope of discussions regarding all national issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today with the President of the Senate of Jordan, Faisal Al Fayez, and his accompanying delegation currently on a visit to the Kingdom. Also present was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said regional circumstances require more Arab cooperation, highlighting the initiatives that support Arab unity, such as the recent North Thunder military maneuvers. The meeting reviewed the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Jordan and the ongoing cooperation in various fields thanks to the brotherly bonds linking both countries and people, in addition to a mutual keenness to build a strong foundation for fruitful cooperation. The meeting also discussed increasing the exchange of official visits so as to consolidate joint coordination. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed Bahrain's keenness to enhance fields of cooperation with Jordan and expand fields of cooperation for the best interests of the two countries and their people. For his part, Faisal al Fayez thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for meeting with him and commended his keenness to re reinforce bilateral relations. He stressed Bahraini Jordanian ties are a model of brotherly and friendly relations, expressing keenness to enhance joint cooperation so as to serve the interests of the two countries.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met Al Ghaybiya Palace today with Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and a number of members of the Shura and Representatives Councils in the presence of former Representative Council Speaker Khalifa Al Dahrani. His Royal Highness highlighted the cohesion of Bahraini society, saying today's generation is building its social relations based on their fathers and forefathers. He pointed out that national unity has led Bahrain to achieve many accomplishments in various fields and to face all attempts aimed at harming social cohesion and disturbing security and stability. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's keenness to provide all villages and cities in Bahrain with the necessary development projects in order for all people to enjoy the best living standards. He said all directives to ministers and officials focus on the necessity to speed up the completion of services and developmental projects across the kingdom so as to meet the needs and demands of the people, adding that despite the current economic situation, work is ongoing to complete developmental projects and establish new ones in line with the comprehensive system. His Royal Highness asserted that the government follows the directives of His Majesty the King to develop all cities and villages of the kingdom through infrastructure projects and providing housing, educational and health services to everyone. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of strengthening communication between ministers and officials and citizens and their representatives through field visits that would contribute to solving the issues of the citizens and improving their living standards. He highlighted the efforts of MPs to follow up with their constituencies' needs which serve the prosperity of the homeland and the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. 
The cabinet affirmed the importance of conducting more visits and meetings and exchanging letters with neighborly countries in order to strengthen Arab unity and reject any kind of interference. The cabinet hailed the positive outcomes of the meeting of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the meeting with the Yemeni President Abdurrahman Mansour Hadi, where they discussed topics of common interest. The cabinet expressed condolences to the UAE over the victims of the Fly Dubai plane which crashed near Rostov on Don Airport in southern Russia. They also condoled Russia on the incident. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to study the situation of the Nuedrat Central Market and take the necessary procedures to open it. His Royal Highness directed the Minister to personally follow up on the matter. He also directed the Ministry to study a plan to extend sewage connections in Bugua, Jablat Hapshi and North Sahlef cities. The cabinet praised Bahrain on winning the 2014 Arab Gulf Program for United Nations Development Organization's prize in marketing domestically manufactured products. A number of topics were discussed during the cabinet meeting, including moving workshops and garages from residential areas to industrial areas. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to follow up on this matter. The cabinet followed up on Bahrain's obligations and agreements stipulating non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction to the National Committee for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. The meeting discussed the report of the National Committee regarding the weapons prohibition and directed the appointed committee to follow up on all topics regarding that matter. The cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs to transfer the convicted according to the agreement between the government of Bahrain and India to take the necessary measures. The cabinet approved the proposal by the Representative Council regarding the conditions of Bahraini fishermen. The cabinet approved another proposal by the Representative's Council regarding establishing a specialized center for infertility treatment. The International Federation for Training and Development Organization announced awarding His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Outstanding Leader of 2016, the first international leader personality to win such an award. This came during a speech delivered by the CEO of the Federation, Mr. Nasser Al Nafisi, during the 45th Conference of the Federation, which Bahrain hosts under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The award comes in recognition of the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and leading the development march in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which contributed in developing the human resources. Deputized by His Royal Highness the Premier, the Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa announced the conference was opened at Bahrain Convention Center at the Crown Plaza. Sheikh Khalid congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for being awarded such an award, which reflects the recognition of international organizations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's efforts in developing human resources. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for delegating him to open the conference. He affirmed that Bahrain is witnessing lots of success stories due to the fine leaders standing behind the kingdom and due to the right policies executed by the government of Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid also lauded the role of Bahrain Society for training and development in developing the human resources of the kingdom and for organizing the event. 700 participants from various countries participated in the conference. This is a big event and it's a platform for, for human resource development and we hope that in the two days conference there will be a lot of lessons learned, a lot of knowledge exchange, a lot of experience and, and uh, theories will, go, will, will be discussed. It's the time to really deliberate and discuss lessons from leaders. Again, uh, the Bahrain Society for Training and Development has done an extraordinary job by attracting all these great speakers from the region and from all over the world, discussing and deliberating challenges and opportunities and issues and how to really to, to, to take the training and development and the investment in human capital and, and people uh, a step forward and a notch higher. 
Bahrain's parliamentarian delegation, led by the first deputy speaker of the Shura Council, Jamal Fakhro, attended today the Gulf Parliamentarian Group meeting with Latin America and Caribbean countries on the sidelines of the 134th International Parliamentarian Assembly, which is being held in Lusaka, Zambia. The meeting agreed on reinforcing parliamentarian cooperation and enhancing joint cooperation and coordination, in addition to signing a memorandum of understanding between the two sides regarding political and economic issues. Earlier, my colleague Mary Claire was joined by phone with Shura Council member Dr. Saeed Al-Yamani, who provided a brief about the participation of Bahrain's delegation in the meeting. Uh, I would like to, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, focus upon the uh, draft resolution that has been taken uh, at the Standing Committee on Peace and International Security. So allow me, please, just to focus on this uh, issue. The, uh, the draft resolution was entitled Terrorism, the Need to Enhance Global Cooperation Against the Threat to democracy and individual rights. In fact, that draft resolution was based on resolution adopted by the United Nations uh, General Assembly as well as the Security Council. And a number of assemblies, the ITU assemblies in Bali and Bangkok and Hanoi, 2007 and 2010 and 2015. In fact, uh, this resolution uh, also considering that all the international cooperation in fighting terrorism uh, can only be effective if parliaments adopt uh, a series of legislative and budgetary measures at uh, aiming at uh, criminally public and punishing terrorist acts. Uh, for, for two days, we've been discussing the... the, the uh, uh, item, uh, there were nearly 20 items that this uh, draft resolution consisted, and there was a, a number of, uh, of, of bases in, in, uh, in addition to the uh, concern regarding the growing, use, the growing use of internet and communication technology and social media uh, that unfortunately uh, can be used by terrorist organizations to exchange information. Uh, and plan and carry out attack and spread their propaganda. Uh, today we finished discussing these, uh, the uh, uh, 20 items, and uh, all countries have agreed uh, um, upon a number of uh, items. I would like to just to, uh, to, to mention a few, actually. Um, there is, of course, an agreement to fight terrorism. Uh, um, and we call on individuals to refrain from using religion and religious heritage and culture to commit terrorist attack, which unfortunately fuels religious uh, and cultural prejudice. Another, another uh, item I'd like to mention that uh, emphasizes the absolute need for enhanced international cooperation and the promotion of interparliamentary information exchange uh, of, of knowledge uh, and um, in order to effectively address the threat of terrorism and dismantle terrorist net network. Um, the the, the uh, conference actually it's, it has more than one topic to, 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 have, to discuss. And I was only involved with the in particular about this uh, topic. If you want me to talk more about what uh, has been uh, reached or agree upon, I would. Of course, now, this it's not uh, the parliament, the IPU, it's, uh, it's not complementary uh, uh, that people, the, the country should take or should adapt this draft resolution or the resolution itself. But fortunately, Bahrain has taken the step uh, towards fighting terrorism uh, just at the beginning of this year, I think, or last year, why, uh, when, when, when we, the Shura Council and the Parliament has uh, um, agreed upon um, a law to fight terrorism. And in fact, I was so happy, and, and, and all the delegation happy, most of if not all the, the items in this 
uh, resolution is, is adopted already by Bahrain to fight to fight those max. 